my name is Juliana Palencia, aka Jujubee, and today I have a first impressions wash and go for you guys. So, I'm going to be doing a wash and go with all new products. So this is going to be my first time using these products and I'm going to be trying them out with you guys on camera and giving you my raw, unedited opinion about all of them. I'm going to show you guys which products I love, which products I didn't love so much, if I would purchase them again, if I wouldn't. If you like this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and you can also subscribe because we would love to have you. Right now, I'm just going to get into the video and show you guys this first impression washing up. So I'm going to take some of my Botanique conditioner and give you guys my first impressions. So first off, it smells amazing. So guys, I think I might have found a new conditioner that I love. This conditioner it has loads of slip. I mean, my hair was really, really dry and tangled. And I feel like it has so much slip and moisture in my hair. For me, it's very hard to find a good conditioner because I'm very, very picky when it comes to detangling conditioners. But I'm gonna have to give this one an A because it is so moisturizing and slippery. So this conditioner isn't really thick. I usually like thicker products. This one is more on the thinner side. This is great for thick hair because it is so moisturizing and slippery, but also a lot of people who have fine hair and thinner hair don't really like those thick, thick, thick products. This will be perfect for you because it's not gonna weigh your hair down. I think I'm gonna have to move this right into an A+, just because this is so great. This conditioner is really 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 good now I'm going to rinse this out and move on to the next product which is a wash apple cider vinegar clarifying rinse from cream of nature and it claims to remove product buildup seals the cuticles and helps protect the natural pH of hair and also refreshes the scalp this smells absolutely nothing like apple cider vinegar. I, I literally don't smell any at all. And I'm sure you guys have smelled apple cider vinegar. It's very, very strong. So I've used apple cider vinegar rinses on my hair. What I like about them is that they make my hair very shiny. Um, let's see how this one is. Okay guys, so um, first impressions, I don't really feel like it has done much of anything. It definitely has some moisturizing capabilities because the fact that I'm able to do this with my hair means that it is somewhat moisturizing, which is good, but as far as cleansing my hair, I mean, I feel like I'm literally just scrubbing my scalp and kind of rubbing my hair. I don't really feel like it's doing much Cleansing. I feel like this would be good for someone who has already cleansed their hair and then uses an apple cider vinegar rinse to kind of seal the cuticle and to um, add shine to your hair. But as far as replacing your cleanser, I'm going to have to say no because I don't feel like it's doing much of anything that water in my fingers couldn't do. So for my leave-in, I'm going to be using the Cream of Nature with Argan Oil Moisture and Shine Curl Activator Cream. And I've never used this before, so let's see. So this claims to instantly bring curls back and reduce frizz while leaving the hair moisturized and soft. So I'm going to be really paying attention to how it makes my hair feel and whether it feels moisturized or not. So the first thing I can say is this is really, really thick. Um, if I were to compare the consistency, I would say it was almost similar to user and lotion. Like it's a very, very thick product. My earring just fell out. My first impression, guys, this is really good. Um, 
it's really easy to smooth through my hair. My hair feels really moisturized. So here's the side without product. And here is the side with product. So as you can see, it elongated my curls a bit and also made them really defined. So Cream of Nature's product in general tend to add lots of definition to my hair. So that's one thing that I love about their product. I'm going to have to give it an A because it did what it said. It reduced the frizz, it added moisture and softness to my hair. It does exactly what it says it was going to do. It's thick, which is, I like my products to be really thick because that tends to extend my wash and goes and make my style last longer. Usually my hair feels hydrated longer with thicker products. I feel like thinner products tend to rub off. The cons. One thing that I would have to say is that um, now I'm being pretty picky because this is a great product but as you guys can see immediately after use it leaves a little bit of white film on my hair. If I go outside for maybe 20 minutes I'm sure it will leave but as you guys can see, um, yeah, I really wouldn't want to walk right out of the house like this. Would I repurchase this product again? Yes, I would. It does a great job at moisturizing my hair. And I also like that it comes in a big bottle. Most leave-in conditioners come in this little tiny bottle like this. I feel like this is a really good size for a leave-in conditioner. So the next thing is a gel. And I'm excited to use this. This is the Flexible Styling Snot by Cream of Nature. Now this product is called not and why it's called snot i don't know um i'm hoping when i open it up to smell it that isn't the reason <laughs> it definitely doesn't smell like snot um i'm not even sure what snot smells like but <laughs> um this yeah. is a snot gel that has maximum hold and it's supposed to help your style hold in place all day long so first impressions whoa this is thick guys this is similar to a wax paste consistency which i've never heard of in the gel so like this is really really thick guys i'm like rubbing my hands together and it's a lot of friction so it's not one of those light liquid gels this one is very thick i'm gonna apply a little bit more before i give my opinion <laughs> Here's the side without the gel, and here's the side with the gel. And as you can see, it defined my curls a lot shinier. It's a lot more stretched out. You ever not finish your wash and go? Like it's not dry yet, but you just know you're gonna have bomb results. That's how I kind of feel today. I just know that this is gonna be a successful wash day. I really like this product. I mean, I thought my hair was very defined on this side, but then I look at this side and I'm like, I'm so excited to see how this is going to turn out guys. So here's my hair all dry and I have tons and tons of definition <clears throat> and also shine. So the gel, I underestimated it. It has a lot more hold than I thought it would. Um, this is almost comparable to Eco Styler, I would say. That's how strong the hold is, like the Argan Oil Eco Styler. But my hair still feels very moisturized and it's very defined. So I'm going to have to give that gel an A plus instead of just an A because it has super duper strong hold. So now I'm just going to pick my hair as I always do. You guys always ask me what pick this is. It's the Annie Double Row Pick and it has two rows as you can see here. It's plastic and it also doesn't have those super sharp bristles. These are so gentle on my hair and it really does the job without creating frizz or feeling like I'm tearing my hair out. So here are the final results. I didn't pick it too much because I want my hair to stay defined, um, but I have lots of definition, not a load of volume. Um, you guys know my hair can get really, really big, but this is day one hair and this created a pretty 
good gel cast on the hair so i actually wasn't able to pick it that much i could use oil to kind of scrunch it out but i like when my hair has a gel cast in this sort of weather so yeah i'm really really happy with the result also don't forget to let me know a new product that you've tried and whether you love it whether you hate it whether you think it's okay you know so so and i also love it if you guys recommend new products to me as well so thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you have a great day if you like this video please like it and give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already i hope you guys have a great day bye